is my friend Caitlin. She's one of those America folk <laughs> from Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, you remembered my city. That's yeah. impressive. Well, Caitlin was my very first friend on my course. A lot of people won't just walk up to a group of people and be like, hey, I'm this. Like, let's talk. <laughs> and that's exactly what Phoebe did, and she was amazing. And the first time I talked to her, we talked for like so long. I don't know how many minutes in that conversation it took for us to start talking about accents. Probably about five. <laughs> we bonded. I think we had a natural affinity for each other from the beginning. We did, we did. Me and Caitlin spend a lot of our time just speaking in each other's accent. When I first got here, I was like, okay, I can't speak in my pretend British accent when I get here because people will get really annoyed. And then I met Phoebe and she like encouraged this <laughs> and it was amazing. We had this agreement that whenever I'd speak in a British accent, she'd speak in an American accent. Because we don't want to throw off the balance of the universe. Exactly. We keep it even. You know, I had someone say to me after they met me, they're like, oh cool, I've never met an American before. And I was like, oh, that's cool. He was like, but it would have been cooler if you would have had a southern accent. And I was like, thanks man. <laughs> what? You're cool, but not enough. <laughs> You weren't the American experience I was hoping for. When I heard his accent, I was taken aback because I think in American culture, when an English person is portrayed in film or movies, I think that's the same thing. <laughs> it's always this really posh accent, and I didn't realize that there's a more relaxed accent. It sounds so cool, and here they think it's like not as, I don't know, it's like called common, but I think it's an amazing accent. When I first got here, people would always say, you all right? And in America, that means, like, we're worried about you. Like, something's wrong. Are you okay? Are you going to be okay? <laughs> Anytime someone say, you're right, I'd, I'd say, yeah, 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 I'm fine. <laughs> they would say, why are you reacting so much? And I was like, well, you just, why do you always think that, like, something's wrong? Like, I, I'm trying, you know? <laughs> and so we just had this huge miscommunication. I realized it meant, like, uh, how are you? Or how are you doing? Or what's up? And I was like, oh, wow. I just embarrassed myself. <laughs> One thing, I don't know why, it just frustrated me on a grammatical standpoint. <laughs> My housemates would be saying how um, they're going to go ASDA, but they'd skip the two. They're not gonna go to ASDA, they're just going ASDA. <laughs> I'm going Phoebe's. Like, what? You just skipped so many <laughs> words in that sentence. Just the other day, I don't know why we were even talking about Kylie Minogue, and Caitlin was like, what's that? <laughs> and I found this <laughs> Hilarious. It was just so surprising hearing someone not know who Kylie Minogue was and then I was like, does she not do America? Like, that's just so <laughs> odd because she's such a big deal that I assumed she was international. She didn't go America. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't go America. <laughs> is she from the UK then? She's Australian. This is new information, I didn't even know she was Australian. <laughs> Back in the 80s she was on an Australian soap. We watch Australian soaps here. I can't even imagine how amazing that would be. <laughs> it's very entertaining watching you not know things that this are really whole famous. This video was inspired by Kylie Minogue <laughs> and my ignorance of it. Of her, sorry. <laughs> she sounds cool. I'll check her out. I'll get into Kylie Minogue. I'll be into Kylie Minogue soon. Stemming from this Kylie conversation that we had, I tried to think of some things which would be really funny to see Caitlin's confused face at. Because I found that trying to explain British things that seems so everyday to people who've never heard of it. It's just so funny and it makes it sound like the lamest thing. I started I to try and tell Caitlin about T4. I thought it was some sort of super tea or something. Like, it's not just tea, it's T4. It was Saturday mornings on Channel 4. They'd talk to some band or singer or whatever and then they'd sing some songs and yeah. then they'd play Friends. They were just trying to market at the younger audience for some reason. It was really oh. random. Yeah, Saturday, friends and music. Even the water has a label that says yo. <laughs> Why is there a channel named Dave? I love it, it's an amazing idea, but it boggles my mind. Dave hasn't actually been around that long. It sounds like you're talking about a person, but you're talking about a channel. It's like, I love Dave. <laughs> Dave just teaches me so many things in life. I think the idea, strangely, is that the market for that channel is meant to be like guys called Dave. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the stuff that's on Dave is a lot of stand-up comedy stuff and that kind of British humour and you know like Oh Dave, yeah, that kind of guy But then I know loads of like nerdy teenage girls and guys who really like it because they have stuff like Brainiac and QI It's like they've sort of got this market 
even though they thought they were only going to get this little bunch of guys called Dave. Maybe they just exclusively um, questionnaired Dave's yeah. and see what they liked. Do you get like plus one channels? It's the same thing, but like an hour later? They used to all just be called plus one, but then they started getting ah. a bit creative with their namings, right? Because Dave, their plus one channel is called Dave Javu. <laughs> what? I'm intrigued to see what you were going to say about swearing on television. I was watching, I think, Graham Norton. Suddenly they just start saying, you know, like, all these curse words and they're not even bleeping them. They're just going for it. I found it really cool because I'd always been used to, in America, they uh, sort of bleep out all of the curse words. Well, so no matter what time it is, they just bleep everything out? On certain channels, they let it, but most of the time, yeah, they just bleep everything out. Do they bleep it out during the day here? Well, there's a thing called the watershed, which is nine o'clock. And if it's after the watershed, then you can have whatever you want. And if it's before, then it's meant to be clean. Maybe the difference is that you guys can say whatever curse word. We can say like damn and stuff and hell, but you can't say, you know, the extreme ones. I used to go on IMDb and just read the like parental guidance. And it was then that I noticed you just mentioned about like damn and hell being in profanity. Over here, they're not even thought of as swear words. Really? I didn't even know that people thought of that as swear words until I started reading parental guidance. Oh so is that just in the normal, so if a kid said what the hell, it's not even a curse word? I, I think so. I don't know if there's like, if I'm just in a very unreligious part of town or something, I don't know. But That's... what the hell is quite soft. <laughs> Can you imagine just doing a whole vlog? <laughs> Watch me lay in my bed. <laughs> it's my channel. My rules. <laughs> I think in certain parts of America, it's very common to, even if you don't know someone, people will sometimes just wave to you or just say hi as they're passing. When I was going on the underground, everyone will do everything they can to not look at each other. If they look at you for a second, you can see a little panic start to come in. <laughs> everyone picks a spot on the floor to look at. <laughs> no one says anything. It is drop dead silent. If anyone is talking, you can hear their entire conversation. I remember I was <laughs> I was on the tube and there was um it's actually a couple of Americans and they were talking about their relationships or something and she was like yeah he just doesn't treat you right I mean he shouldn't do that to you and all this other stuff and everyone was like listening in and just trying their best not to look but I could see people taking one <laughs> earbud out I find really random stuff funny I I've noticed because okay. literally um. People will be talking, and then I can just see Phoebe in the corner just like... <laughs> She'll just start giggling to herself, or there's a point in the sentence that she finds really funny, and people are like, wait, what? You just make, like, connections in your head with other things, and you just start laughing, and I love it. It's funny just watching you laugh at stuff, because I'm like... You could be just, like, looking at something random, like, I bet you could just look at an orange and stuff. <laughs> I don't know I've noticed that, that a few times now that... You've mentioned, but I can't think of specific examples. But I can remember the feeling. <laughs> the feeling of confusion. I was like, what is she laughing at? <laughs> there was a bit of an overhaul in the UK with stuff having like colours and sedative sedatives. <laughs> um, That's scary. It's like fall asleep during <laughs> during your lunch. <laughs> this is how we keep you paying tuition. <laughs> You don't control me. <laughs>